Good day everyone, I'm Maria Majiboye and I'll be presenting my research work titled Do Conspecific Alarm Cues Affect the Case Construction Behavior of Caddis Fly Larvae, the Limnophila species? Organisms interact with the environment using their sensory system to detect information and they respond based on the information detected. So for an organism to ensure survival, it needs to be able to detect predation risk and respond based on the intensity of this predation risk. These responses could come in form of physiological, morphological or behavioral responses. Caddis fly larvae are known to elicit both morphological and behavioral responses when exposed to predation risk. And this can be observed in their case building behavior. These caddis fly larvae are found in various freshwater habitats like pools, ponds, stream, rivers, lake, and larvae of many species build cases of different sizes and shapes using materials present in their environment. Some of them use mineral materials like sand grains as seen here in A, and some of them use organic materials as seen in B, like the bark of a tree, or some use leaves or sticks. These cases have been described as a predator shelter as it protects their delicate body from damage because they are exposed to various freshwater predators like fish, crayfish, salamanders, dragonfly gnats, and even aquatic birds. It also serves as a protection through camouflage because the cases are built with materials present in their environment so they are able to match the background environment. There are variations in this case construction materials which can be influenced by predation risk. Larvae tend to use um, more materials or materials that are more resistant to crushing when exposed to predation risk. So the cost associated with case construction sometimes seems to be related to their susceptibility to predation. Studies have shown that caddis fly are able to respond to predator related chemical cues like predator odor and conspecific alarm cues. And predator odor have been described to affect case material selection, case construction behavior, as seen here on the image on my right, in the absence of chemical cues, larvae did not repair the damaged portion of the case. While those exposed to predator odor, they repaired the anterior portion of the case that was damaged by using the clinical sand that they were provided with. Both predator odor and conspecific alarm cues affect larval activities. They tend to reduce their activities by reducing their latency to emerge from their case and move around when exposed to these chemical cues. However, the effect of alarm cues on caddis fly larvae case construction behavior has not been documented. So for my research, I investigated the effect of damage release con specific alarm cues on limnophilia species larvae case construction behavior. The larval species used in these experiments build their cases with sand grains and they attach some sticks to the side of the cases. To prepare alarm cue for this experiment, one gram of larvae was crushed in 200 ml of water. The solution was filtered and the filtrate was used as alarm cue. The case construction materials were provided to the larvae and these materials were gotten from their natural environment. So the materials were sand grains, which is half, step, half tablespoon each and then four sticks for each larvae. So they were placed in a container containing 150 ml of dechlorinated tap water and each container was placed in a water bath of 15 degrees C. To initiate case construction, larvae were removed from their old cases by probing them in the abdomen and they were separated into two treatment groups, those in the control group that received dechlorinated tap water and those in the alarm queue group that received the alarm queue treatment. Larvae received 5 ml of their respective treatment at the beginning of the experiment and after 24 hours. Larvae used for these experiments were of similar sizes and there were 18 larvae in the control group and 29 in the alarm kill treatment. To analyze the data of these experiments, we noted the proportion of cases constructed, larval case length and number of sticks used after 24 and 48 hours of case construction. However, larvae that did not construct new cases after 48 hours of exposure were excluded from the case length and number of sticks and larvae. The result of this experiment showed that the type of treatment received does not affect larvae case construction behavior. They all constructed at the same rate, irrespective of the type of treatment received after 24 hours and also after 48 hours of case construction. 
However, the type of treatment received affects case material selection, with larvae in the alarm-cure treatment group adding more materials, which is adding more sticks to their cases when exposed to alarm-cure treatment than those in the control group exposed to dechlorinated tap water. But after 48 hours, there was no difference in the number of sticks attached to laval cases. We also observed that the type of treatment received does not affect laval case length after 24 hours and after 48 hours of case construction. Unlike other Cardi species, like the family Frigini, they that build their cases faster, the Limnophila species used for this experiment do not construct their cases faster. And this could be because of the material used in building these cases. They use sand grains and um, sticks. So these two materials have been described as an energetically costly material because they require more steel to bind them together. That could explain why fewer number of larvae, about 36% of them, constructed new cases after 48 hours of case construction. Also, the quantity of materials available for case construction can influence this behavior. For instance, a study shows that for those that build their cases with sand grains, they need at least one centimeter depth of sand because they have to burrow into the sand to build these cases. But for this experiment, they were not provided up to one centimeter depth. So that could explain why fewer number of larvae build cases in this experiment as well. However, we observed that lamb Q affected case material selection, with larvae adding more sticks to their cases when exposed to this alarm Q treatment group compared to those in the control group. Studies have shown that the predator foraging mode determines the effectiveness of larval cases as a defense against predation. They tend to build broad and large cases or use sticks instead of leaves or mineral cases instead of organic cases just to make their case less resist uh, more res just to make their case more resistant to crushing when they are being attacked by predators but for this experiment we observed that the predator defense strategy for the ex for this particular larval species is the addition of more sticks to larval cases So, in conclusion, case construction behavior can be used as an indicator to assess predation pressure in the aquatic environment. By studying behavioral changes, we can help understand how the organism perceives the environment. I would like to thank my scholarship donor, Ms. Margaret McKay, and my supervisors for their support, Dr. Chivas and Maud Ferrari, as well as other lab members that helped me doing this research work. Here are some of my references. Thank you. Questions.